So thank you to Alex for joining us today. Um, yeah, we're just going to talk about, Alex is going to talk about Conway and how he uses SOC containers. Um, again, thank you for joining us today, Alex, and happy to have you here today. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, really happy to see you guys over here as well. And thank you very much for the invite. Um, yeah, my name is uh, Alexander. I'm um, the single owner of the, of the group of the Conway. I know exchange uh, from the start, from the beginning. I already in, the, in this uh, industry approximately for 10 years. Uh, first started with the freight forwarder and then uh, fully uh, get deep <laughs> in the equipment. So yeah, um, then Alex, how, how, can I, how can I start? <laughs> uh, sorry, I was just gonna say, Alex was also one of our interviewees from our report. So we're very happy to have him in person. Um, so let's, let's begin. Um, Alex, can you explain exactly how Conway uses Exchange to trade SOC containers and how Exchange has helped you streamline this process from how you used to do it in the past? Yeah, um, so this year I have uh, opened for myself the uh, Exchange Trade pl platform. Normally I use only the lease ones. Um, how, how do we uh, use the platform for the trade? Well, no, normally it's uh, uh, mainly going to the, to the areas which we're not really focused on, or maybe some of the new markets which we still didn't uh, develop. Um, time to time, it's it's uh, it's a scenario of the our customers' mistakes. Uh, means like uh, when the customers are taking a lease of our equipment from the uh, point A. Um, let's say we have a case uh, when the customer have picked up our container from the Portugal, and uh, by the agreement they should uh, be able to return that in China uh, in, into the control of our Chinese office. Uh, but uh, all of a sudden, uh, the uh, the shipper have uh, cancelled uh, the collection, and instead of return our equipment, uh, they uh, simply took it to the Scandinavia by the mistake, of course. Uh, in this kind of reasons, we as a, as a small company are trying to be as flexible as possible, and uh, we decided to to go ahead and accept the equipment in the area of which we do not mostly trade. Um, we took the container and to have tried with the, with the exchange trade platform and it works out. We have sold the unit and of course there is a couple of uh, things you need to, uh, we need to, you need to know and accept of course that the probably unit will be uh, sold a, a bit uh, lower than a market price, uh, but it's give you a, a flexibility and the possibility to to try and uh, to fix uh, some urgent cases when it's needable. Got it. Okay. And um, in your interview, you mentioned that um, you feel like there needs to be a qualified SOC agent of some sort. And even Florian from Flexport said a similar thing. Um, yeah. But you mentioned that you already know some of these small manufacturers and agents already form. Could you give yeah, us insights? Yeah, def yeah, definitely. Well, that's uh, my personal uh, uh, view on it because uh, from the last year, uh, we have also uh, ordered quite a lot of uh, new equipment from the factories because of the demand of our, uh, our customers uh, for the local resale in China from our office and also for the one-way lease. But uh, uh, mainly we have worked with uh, really popular ones, uh, big factories. And, but uh, suddenly we have tried a small one, uh, which was really attractive by the price. Uh, but uh, yeah, we had a bad experience with this one. We, we was waiting instead of uh, like one or two months, we was waiting for a, a half year, six months in, in total for the before the container will be released. So I think that's, uh, that's also uh, the, one of the hype, let's say that the industry was in when the containers was uh, really on the high demand. Uh, many of, uh, of the um, container factories was uh, simply uh, founded by the factories from the totally in other fields, uh, from the metal constructions or something like this, I don't know. And uh, 
I, I think that uh, also need to be controlled and uh, definitely uh, considered by the customers who is ordering the container that uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's very good to give an opportunity for a smaller factories to, to run the orders, but they need to understand also the risks, what they are able to achieve with this. Got it. That was, uh, that, 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 that was my actually the point of view about this. <laughs> yeah, that was a great, it was great to hear your point of view. Um, and, you know, because we at Exchange are striving to be the, the total SOC agent for everyone. If everyone were to use our platform, we really do believe that um, SOCs wouldn't be this admin, um, this burdensome admin task. Um, so that's why we wanted to ask you that question today, because we want to know how, what are our limitations as this platform and how can we improve to make sure that we are that, um, that SOC agent, that qualified yeah. SOC. Yeah, that? that's, very, that, that, that's indeed very important. And that's a really a question once uh, also uh, time to time you're able to receive uh, uh, not um, really applicable container even for your uh, lease orders. So that's not uh, not only important uh, for the container manufacturer. That's also important for the uh, shipper uh, shipper own container uh, management and uh, and the companies who is dealing with the shipper own containers. They need to understand that uh, they need to keep it, everything in a professional control to yeah to repair the container till the IACL standards. Uh, yeah, to keep them in a, in a good shape, in a good lease, and time to time, uh, yeah, update the stocks and update the fleet as well. Awesome. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, we are actually looking into all of your suggestions, so we really, really appreciate them. And thank you for taking the time to join us today. And again, to you. our report, we appreciate it more than Thank you, know. you guys. Good, good luck. Thanks. Thank you so much. Um, Awesome. So thanks again. You can find Alex's um, LinkedIn in the chat. I think Valera posted it already, but she may post it again. Um, moving on, we're going to go on to um, some of your questions. Um, I'm not sure. I know that Johannes has already left. Um, we might get um, our other marketing veteran Florian Fries to come answer some of our questions, maybe in the chat or in person, seeing as he's not feeling too well. Um, but let's see what questions. Valera, um, I'm not sure if you can help me um, decipher which questions to answer first. Should I look in the Q&A or should I scroll through the chat here? Um, yeah, I think uh, all the questions that we had so far in the chat, they, they were already answered by Flo. Um, okay. Yeah, but um, now we have a couple of minutes left and everyone can answer, uh, everyone can ask uh, more questions and our speakers will be happy to answer them. Okay, great. So if, if, if our participants can just raise a hand and then they can ask um, like live and unmute themselves, sh should we do it that way? Um, yeah, I have one hand and now um, I think I have given them access to talk. Okay. I just see a question here uh, from... Yeah. yeah. Um, Hello. Can you... Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, actually, I, I'm Barry Lee. I sent an email to Florian uh, asking about getting 350 40 footer high queue in Qingdao. Mm -hmm. The client are ready to buy the container or lease the container. So I'm not sure. Uh, this can be uh, supported by exchanges. Uh, hey, hey, Byron. Um, in general, yes, of course, um, we can do that. Or our members can do that via the trading or leasing platform. Um, in this specific case, my team has to look it up if we have the right containers and the right quantity um, available in, sorry, I, thought, uh, um, I think it was King Dao that you mentioned. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the team will follow up with you on that. 
Um, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, the, the one of the important issue is the cost of the 350 <laughs> containers. Of course, that's the most important question. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. You can't believe. <laughs> Alex, I think there was a question for you in the chat um, by Ellen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can Alexander offer any details of depot availability and locations? Oh yeah, that's a, that's a quite a question. You know, dep depending on the location, of course, time to time you see uh, lots of possibilities uh, to store the unit in. Uh, yeah, in the in Europe, let's say Dalsburg, but uh, at the next day you see that the depots are really full and occupied it and it's pos impossible to open a depot contract. The same in China, basically, uh, we are now uh, running uh, the seven different uh, depots in Shanghai because uh, one after the another feels uh, full without any capacity. So that's really a matter of the of the time and a matter of the of the location. So that's need to be checked uh, pointly. I hope I hope that's uh, that was the question which uh, which you asked. Thanks, Alan. If Alan has any um... in Hamburg, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the places where where the problems are at the moment. It's it's a uh, it's really a spot where it's, uh, it's difficult to find a space in the Dallin. So uh, um, it's difficult, uh, you, you, can try, you can try to contact uh, Remain Hamburg. So maybe these guys have uh, any opportunities to store, store the unit, but uh, that I would say would be a, a, a big luck if, uh, if you will manage to get the space in Hamburg currently. Awesome, thank you. Um, I think we have another hand raised by, um, um, I might mispronounce your name, uh, Chia Kasu. Yeah, I have just given her an oh, address. Please, can you um, correct my pronunciation when you, when you unmute yourself? If, if, if I remember correctly, um, you have, like we already answered um, one of your questions in the chat earlier. Um, so, so even if that does not work out right now, um, please feel free to reach out anytime. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I didn't want to uh, interrupt you. Maybe you just wanted to get started. No, I can see you're still on mute. Um, okay. So, so, so feel free to, to reach out anytime. And also for everyone else, I can see that um, a few people um, are um, dropping out now. Um, and we will share the recording and then we will um, yeah, um, um, get back to you on this. Um, probably Candice has a few more words. Um, yeah, if there are no further questions, I'd just like to thank everybody for joining today.